when we get married and we get married to partners who've got children we met these people when they have they they were having it's either a child or children and we get into those children's lives we embrace them um i'm talking about an issue where it's a it's a it's a it might be a, a man or a woman who will embrace his or or her spouse children the children that their spouse come with they embrace them as their own um i always wonder and ask myself is that when the couple the divorce does does that mean also the step parent divorce the child usually in our community when a person comes with a child because of tradition or those who follow tradition a child don't get adopted legally by the by the by the spouse the child um he may he may he or she may act as a step parent but they don't i've never had i'm sure there are cases like that but i've never had where step parent in our community uh, adopted that step child and what in my thinking i always ask myself that i know i'm rambling i'm just trying to bring my thoughts together and i always ask myself when i see a situation where a child or children got used to this person as the step parent or loving parent or whatever that you want to call it uh, in that home when they are no longer together with the parent with the biological parent what happens to the relationship of the step parent and the child do we ever discuss such such issues when you are getting married to a person with a child do you ever put much thoughts to such things or when I you tell yourself that when the marriage gets um, null and void it also means the children also becomes null and void the children that they your your ex-spouse came with marriage uh, divorce it's divorce is bad divorce is demonic divorce i don't know how it, this thing has been in my mind and i would like to think for me i'll say it's the holy spirit talking to me about this issue it's one topic that i am very passionate about and i see the damage of what divorce do to the children and as adults adults don't really think about the impact of divorce on the children i'm not saying people must stay in abusive marriages that's not what i'm saying but the 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 the, the dynamics of it and the damage it hurts everybody every everyone but today i want to concentrate on the issue of stepchildren when when these two people their marriage ends can you imagine a child you may find that she didn't have maybe the other parent maybe the other biological parent maybe they're not that responsible or even if they're responsible the child bonded with this person the child got to know this person there was a process where a child got to know this person and they had wall they had put up a wall and when this person comes to their lives they got to know them and then they got to know this person is here to, not to harm me and they're not here to compete for my biological parent space and they get to accept this person and when the divorce happens that child they, i feel like such children are left in a limbo where they are hanging without surface for them to stand on there is no solid ground for them to stand out stand on if divorce had the biological, biologic, biological children of the spouses, what about the children that came with the other spouse? Because it feels like they are being tossed from one end to another. And as we marry our spouses with children, I think we have to put the parents... Uh, according to my opinion i think parents it's about time they sit and 
and, and, and sit and, and discuss the issue together if all parents are still alive and they're involved i think both parents set of parents have to sit and discuss this issue there are a lot of children there are a lot of adults who have issues based on the divorce of the parents that they never recover children can never be divorced there is no ex children but the children who came as a package of a marriage it may be a different dynamic altogether if you have a child with and you are marrying someone do you ever talk about such issues do you discuss about those issues and you when you are coming in into this marriage do you ever think this is gonna be my child forever until usually it happens with the wives from what i've seen that the relationship will continue but with us it's very few i'm not saying it's not there but it's very few it's like when the parent divorce it's amen it's finished they go on with their lives and the children are just left where there's no bridge they need to 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 jump to the other side but but there is no bridge these are issues that we need to talk about in our community these are the issues that we need to talk about in our, in our homes these are the issues that we need to talk about in our society in our groups as women as men as women groups as men groups in the church in the village a coroni wherever that you call it each generation that you are having is becoming more dysfunctional than the than the the last i'm not an expert on issues but i think the breaking of the home is the main thing that causes a replica of so many things and we don't get to understand when God is so against sex before marriage. He is so against children coming before marriage. I'm not here to tell people uh, that uh, they must feel like I am judging their lives for having children before marriage. But I'm saying when you have children before marriage and you get to marry, that spouse needs to understand that they are not just by the word and you also need to understand what you can put your child or children through it's a topic that people don't want us to talk about it's an area of discussion that when you talk about it we, we usually get defensive parents get defensive Parents don't want to listen and parents feel that they are being judged. No one is being judged, but today I want you to think thoroughly about if you have kids and you are about to marry, if you have kids that you came with into the marriage, are you having that discussion with your spouse? Are you having a discussion, if possible, as a set of parents together? Yeah. I think for today I'll just stop there. This 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 topic is heavy. It is heavy. But it's a necessary topic that we need to talk about. Very very necessary. I've 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 not really heard or or he, he, we talk about this issue of a uh, children that are brought into marriage and when that marriage ends what happens to those children? It, it, as I said, children who get divorced, when their parents get divorced, they found themselves on shaky ground, like a jelly ground. But these ones who the spouse came with in the marriage, there's not even a shaky ground. There is no ground at all for them to stand on. I just want, I, I want you to think deep about it. If you're a parent, if you came with a child or children into a marriage or you are about to get married and you have a child or children 
it's about time we think about children first and we 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 we, we talk about uncomfortable topics we talk about them without fear because if we don't address it each generation to come is going to get worse and worse 